Have you ever wondered what Alzheimer's and dementia really are? These terms are often used interchangeably but they represent different concepts in the vast field of neuroscience. Alzheimer's is a specific type of dementia much like an orange is a specific type of fruit. Dementia on the other hand, is a broad term used to describe a decline in mental ability severe enough to interfere with daily life. With dementia the changes are not just about forgetfulness. It affects memory, sure, but it also impacts other cognitive functions like thinking, reasoning, and even the ability to perform everyday tasks. It's like a fog that gradually thickens, making it harder and harder for the person to navigate through their own mind. Alzheimer's disease, named after the German physician Alois Alzheimer, is the most common type of dementia, accounting for an estimated 60 to 80 percent of cases. It's a progressive disease, starting with mild memory loss and leading to severe brain damage. In Alzheimer's, abnormal protein deposits form plaques and tangles in the brain, causing a disruption in the internal structure of neurons. Over time, these neurons lose connections with other neurons and die. But here's the thing. Alzheimer's and dementia are not a normal part of aging. They are diseases, not inevitable consequences of growing older. And while there's no cure yet, Treatments can slow the worsening of symptoms and improve quality of life. Removing certain food items will help as well. Now, there are many misconceptions about these diseases, one of them being that Alzheimer's is just about losing memory. That's not entirely accurate. People with Alzheimer's aren't just forgetting things, they are losing the ability to access those memories. It's like having a library full of books, but the doors are locked and you've misplaced the key. So, now that we have a basic understanding of Alzheimer's and dementia, Let's move on to a related yet surprising topic. Now who would have thought that your sweet tooth could possibly lead to Alzheimer? Shocking, isn't it? Sugar, once again is harming us. Let's take a moment to understand this sugar connection. We are all aware of the adverse effects of excessive sugar consumption. It contributes to obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and many other health issues. But did you know that it can also be linked to Alzheimer's? Here's how. When we consume sugar, our body breaks it down into glucose. This glucose is then absorbed into the bloodstream and transported to various parts of our body, including our brain. Our brain, like any other organ, requires energy to function, cholesterol and glucose is its primary source of fuel. However, for this glucose to enter our brain cells, we need insulin. Insulin is the key that unlocks our cells, allowing glucose to enter and be used as energy. But what happens when we consume too much sugar? our bodies start to become resistant to the insulin. This is not just for overweight people. This means our brain cells can't take in the glucose they need to function properly. This condition, where our brain becomes insulin resistant, is what we refer to as type 3 diabetes. And it's this type 3 diabetes that's been linked as a leading cause of Alzheimer's. Now let's get this straight. We're not saying that every time you indulge in a slice of cake or a scoop of ice cream, you're heading towards Alzheimer's, but we are saying that a consistent high sugar diet could increase your risk. It's not just about the occasional treat, but the daily excessive intake of sugar that could potentially lead to insulin resistance in the brain. We will offer a suggestion at the end. So, while we all love our sugary treats, removing sugar and sweeteners is key. It's important to change your diet and ensure that you're not overloading your system with sugar. Pay attention to hidden sugars in all the foods and drinks in the middle aisles of the grocery stores. So it appears that our diet, specifically our sugar intake, has a bigger role to play in our cognitive health than we ever imagined. Type 3 diabetes? I bet you didn't see that coming. Yes, you heard it right. Type 3 diabetes, a term not commonly known to many but one that holds a crucial place in the discussion about Alzheimer's disease. Now you may be thinking, what does diabetes have to do with Alzheimer's? Well, let's dive into it. Picture this. Our brains, the control center of our bodies, need energy to function. The primary source of this energy? Glucose. Now, to utilize this glucose, our brain cells require insulin. However, when these cells become resistant to insulin, they can't absorb the glucose they need. Consequently, they starve and deteriorate over time, leading to cognitive decline and memory loss, which are the hallmark symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. This condition of insulin resistance in the brain is what we refer to as type 3 diabetes. It's a term coined by researchers who noticed the striking similarities between the brain's insulin resistance in Alzheimer's patients and the way cells in type 2 diabetes respond to insulin. So, where does our diet come into play here? 
let's consider our modern dietary habits, dominated by processed foods and high sugar intake. These habits not only contribute to obesity and type 2 diabetes, but also feed into the development of type 3 diabetes. Yes, the sugar we consume can lead to insulin resistance in our brains. Just think about it. The same sweet substance that brings so much pleasure to our taste buds could potentially be hurting our minds, robbing us of our precious memories. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? Now we're not saying that everyone who enjoys a candy bar will develop type 3 diabetes or Alzheimer's. However, the connection between a high sugar diet and these diseases is undeniable, and definitely something worth considering in our daily lives. Type 3 diabetes, a lesser known term but a significant contributor to Alzheimer. Interesting, isn't it? Now, let's debunk a myth that has been circulating around Alzheimer for a long time. This myth, it's a doozy, it's a whopper, and it's been causing confusion and heartache for far too long. The myth is this, people with Alzheimer's are losing their memory. But let's get one thing straight, folks. This is not a case of memories disappearing into a black hole, never to be seen or experienced again. No, the truth is far more hopeful and far less dramatic. You see, people with Alzheimer's aren't losing their memories, they're losing access to them. It's as if their memories have been locked away in a vault, and they've misplaced the key. Think of the brain as a vast library, filled with the books of your life. Each book is a memory, a moment, an experience. Now, with Alzheimer's, it's not that the books are disappearing, it's that the librarian, the part of your brain that retrieves those memories, is facing a challenge. The books are there but the librarian can't always find them. So, what does this mean? It means those memories, those precious moments of life, they're not gone. They're still there, waiting to be rediscovered. And the most exciting part? The access to these memories can be restored. Yes, you heard it right, restored. The key to this vault, to these memories, is in understanding and managing what we've come to know as type 3 diabetes. By addressing the root cause, insulin resistance in the brain, we can start to unlock the door to the memory vault once again. This isn't a pie-in-the-sky dream. This is grounded in science, in research, and in the tireless work of countless health professionals and researchers across the globe. It's a glimmer of hope in what can often feel like a hopeless situation. So let's stop perpetuating the myth. Let's stop saying people with Alzheimer's are losing their memories because they're not. They're losing access to their memories. And with the right understanding, the right care, and the right approach, we can help them find the key. It's time we start seeing Alzheimer in a new light, isn't it? Let's quickly skim through what we've learned today. We've embarked on an enlightening journey, understanding the intricate links between Alzheimer's, dementia, and type 3 diabetes. We've peeled back the layers of misinformation and unearthed the truth, a truth that is both alarming and empowering. Alzheimer's and dementia, two conditions that have been mystifying scientists and medical professionals for decades, are not as elusive as we once thought. There's a connection, a common thread that weaves through these cognitive conditions, and it's called type 3 diabetes. A term unfamiliar to many, type 3 diabetes is not a new form of the disease, but rather a representation of insulin resistance in the brain. Through our exploration, we've unearthed that this insulin resistance, this type 3 diabetes, is a leading cause of Alzheimer's. A revelation that changes our perspective, our understanding, and our approach to these conditions. Then, we delved into the primary culprit leading to type 3 diabetes. Sugar. Our diets, laden with sugars, both hidden and overt, are fostering an environment where our brains are becoming resistant to insulin. This resistance, in turn, is paving the way for cognitive conditions like Alzheimer's and dementia. But we've also debunked a myth, a myth that has perpetuated fear and misunderstanding. Alzheimer's and dementia patients are not losing their memories. They're losing access to their memories. There's a significant difference between the two. This understanding shakes the foundation of our preconceived notions, offering a glimmer of hope. Access lost can be restored. So, we stand on the precipice of a new understanding armed with knowledge, ready to make changes that can potentially alter the course of our cognitive health. Remember, the food choices we make today will shape our cognitive health tomorrow. It's a powerful realization, one that instigates change, inspires action, and propels us towards a healthier future. Remember, what we consume today has a profound impact on our health tomorrow. Choose wisely. Before we wrap up, here's something you might find interesting. If you're eager to take a more proactive role in your cognitive health, we invite you to join the Hanging with the Browns community on YouTube. Follow our journey as we share practical tips and real-life experiences to help you make smarter food choices. The best part? 
we are offering a free 4-week menu to help you cut out all the sugars from your diet while still eating, until you are full and satisfied. You won't have to starve yourself to keep your brain healthy. To get this free 4-week menu, all you have to do is visit www.gbrown.com and click the questionnaire link at the top for a free ebook. This ebook is packed with all the information and motivation you need to kickstart your journey to better health. Don't miss out on this opportunity to take control of your cognitive health. Join us and subscribe to Hanging with the Browns, and let's embark on this health journey together. See you there.